Ever wonder what the top five running backs in Madden 18 will be? Well, watch this video and we're going to talk about it. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know by hitting the subscribe button below or sharing the video with your friends. Alright guys, so the top five uh, running backs in Madden 18, that's what we're looking at today. And I want to start off with a interesting number five rating. As I was putting this together, I, I couldn't really figure out who I wanted to put at number five. There was a lot of different players I wanted to put there and nothing really stuck. And so I ended up going with this guy. Um, this is kind of a, a combination of several different running backs could fit into this spot. But I went with DeMarco Murray from Tennessee. I think, you know, he's still one of the better running backs in the game. He's not, he's certainly, in my opinion, not as good as he was when he played for Dallas. Uh, the year that he ran for thousands of yards and did all that. He's not as good. But he is very, he is still a top five back, in my opinion, is doing great things at Tennessee. Uh, someone else that we could even put in that category, I, in my opinion, is the running backs from Atlanta. They are starting to get up there. They are starting to look pretty good. If Marshawn Lynch plays well, he will be a top five running back in Madden 18. Uh, if he plays well, it's gonna that's a big if. We'll see what happens uh, with all of that. But, uh, but anyways, that's, that's kind of what I went with number five. Uh, number four on our list. Uh, number four on our list is Le'Veon Bell. Now, I think Le'Veon Bell is the most beautiful running back to watch in a live game. Uh, if you guys have ever, if you guys haven't gotten a chance to watch this guy, what he does when he runs, it is, it is truly artistic to watch this guy run. He is one of the best running backs I've ever seen, one of the most graceful running backs. But in Madden, he's number four. Number four in our top five list for a couple reasons. The biggest one is that he just doesn't have the breakaway speed that the top, top running backs have to have. Um, he's still kind of figuring that side of the game out. He probably never will. It's not his style. But when you're looking at drafting a running back, you have to you have a gun to your head. You have to run the ball with one person. You're not going to go Le'Veon Bell. He's he's not quite there yet. Uh, we'll see if he if the game changes and it gears itself more towards Le'Veon Bell style running backs, then we then he will be number one. But right now, in my opinion, he's just not quite there. Number three on our list is LaShawn McCoy. Now this running back is is probably actually one of the better running backs equipped for Madden, um, but he's not that great in real life. If you ever if you haven't watched Le'Veon Bell's career lately, I personally don't think he's ever been one of the better backs in the game, and now even with, especially with Buffalo, he just, he's never, he's not really ever produced for me, but in Madden, he's a stud, and here's why, his agility, his ability to catch the ball to the backfield, his ability to uh, cut smoothly in and out of holes, those things make Le'Veon Bell a very, very solid option when looking for a running back, in my opinion, he's the best pass, um, if you're going to go, if you're going to go um, pass heavy, and run a lot of screens and run a lot of sweeps and tosses and those kind of plays, then this this uh, LaShawn McCoy is your running back, uh, in my opinion. So consider that as you're, as you're looking at your roster. Um, but real quick, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, that's, your, that's your next step going forward. If you have any questions or let me know what your top five are, you can do that in the comments. Uh, but our number two running back in Madden 18 – is David Johnson. Now, the first, these two, these top two backs, they basically have two characteristics, and it depends on what you want to do with the running back. Uh, again, that that's very important. So if you're a more of a pass-heavy player, you, you're going to want to draft a certain type of running back. If you're more of a run-heavy player, you're going to want to draft, again, a certain type of running back, okay? So this the second player is more for a pass-heavy style attack, and that's David Johnson from the Cardinals. Uh, I think he is is the modern day Marshall Falk. Uh, I don't think there's any question about that anymore. He is a, just a great a great back if you're trying to pass the ball. I mean I mean name a route he can't run. Like he he can do everything that you need him to do, um, and it's just a, he does a really good job at it. Like he he runs routes better than receivers. I mean that's how good this guy is. He is right there with what Marshall Falk used to do. He he is right there. I mean, he is that good. So consider David Johnson. If, you, if you're running a pass-heavy offense, I don't think there's another running back right now in the NFL that can even compete with David Johnson. If you are wanting to pass the ball consistently more than you run the ball, David Johnson is your guy, and he can still run the ball. He's still a great running back. Uh, but what I'm saying is 
His pass catching ability makes him a truly all purpose running back. Uh, one of the best one of the best running backs um, at at the all purposeness of what a true halfback means. Uh, someone that can run the ball and catch the ball. This is your guy. This last, uh, the, the number one player, in my opinion, the number one running back in the NFL, and also, in my opinion, the number one running back in Madden is Ezekiel Elliott. Obviously, with his suspension, he's not going to get the upgrades for the first couple of weeks. He's not going to play in the real NFL for the first couple of weeks, so you don't have, you probably don't want to draft him in fantasy on the first overall pick. But for Madden, you can still play with players who are suspended. You just sub them right in. Uh, you know, unless you're playing a sim league or something crazy like that, you can play with these players. So what I would encourage you guys to do is to consider Ezekiel Elliott as a as a run first running back, someone that's going to literally, if you're going to run power zero, um, you know, for the game, you're going to run it through Ezekiel Elliott. That's that's the player you're going to use. Um, however, if you're going to run wheel routes, corner routes, slant routes, things like that, where he's going to be matched up with a linebacker, you're probably going to want to use David Johnson. So again, it goes back to it's all about what you want to do. For me, for me, my offense is more centered around having a, a running back that can just run the ball, run the ball right through the hole, run, catch a screen. You know, run, running the ball is is more of my style. So I that's why I say Ezekiel Elliott. However, if I was running a pass heavy offense where I wanted my running back to have you know consistent receiver type routes, then I would go with David Johnson. So. Uh, but anyways, guys, those are our top five running backs in Madden 18. And uh, leave a comment in this video uh, if you get a chance. And let me know what are your top five. What are your top five backs? What's your favorite running back to play with? Uh, did I miss somebody? Did I miss the back that you believe is the best running back in the NFL? Let me know, and we'll talk in the comments. Thank you, guys, and be sure to be back here for tomorrow. We're going to have more Madden.